Thank you for considering Cal Poly Pomona as your future academic home. We're excited that you're interested in learning more about our amazing university. My name is Tracy Liu and I'll be spending the next few minutes sharing with you the need to know information as you consider applying to Cal Poly Pomona. Before you apply, I would highly encourage you to take the opportunity to meet with your high school counselor to review our admission requirements, prepare you for selecting a major and assist you with your application. The college application process can be a daunting experience, but your counselors are there to support you. In fact, many schools may even offer application workshops to guide you through the process. As an alternative, our amazing outreach counselors at the Office of Outreach, Recruitment and Educational Partnerships offers pre-admission advising throughout the year, in addition to application support during our application filing period. Every Cal State University may differ slightly in the programs they offer and the criteria they look for when selecting for admission. In the next few minutes, I'll be sharing admission practices specific to Cal Poly Pomona. So let's begin. Let's talk about admission eligibility. All freshman applicants are considered eligible for admission if they've met the A through G course requirements. The A through G college preparatory course pattern is common for all CSU and UC campuses and includes subjects such as history and social science, English, math, science, language other than English, visual and performing arts, and college prep electives. This slide shows the minimum requirements needed for each subject. But as you can see in just a moment, additional consideration may be given to students who take additional math courses. The second component to admission eligibility is the high school GPA. California residents are eligible for admission consideration with a GPA of 2.0 and higher. Applicants from outside of California must have a GPA of 3.0 and higher. Notice we haven't said anything about the SAT or ACT tests. That's because the requirement is currently suspended. While you may send us your scores, they will not be used for admission purposes. So far, we've talked about the quantitative assessment of your admission application. So now let's talk about other admission factors. Cal Poly Pomona has a multi-factor admission model that takes into consideration your grades along with various non-academic criteria. We recognize that you're more than just a GPA. Applicants will be given additional consideration if they are local area students, military or veteran of the military, first-generation college student, participant in a designated campus partnership, receiving youth services, or are an educational program such as AVID and Gear Up. Extracurricular involvement, leadership, volunteer and work experience are also criteria for additional point consideration. In this multi-factor admission model, your base points are derived from your GPA with additional points being given to such non-academic criteria. If you're an applicant into a STEM major, that's science, technology, engineering, and math, additional consideration will be given to you if you take more than the minimum math requirements needed for admission. Please keep in mind that this model is specific to Cal Poly Pomona. You should consult with each CSU campus for their respective multi-factor admission model. As you consider the major to which you are applying, please note that Cal Poly Pomona has many majors that are deemed impacted. Impacted majors are those that are in high demand and are therefore more selective. It also means that local area students are not guaranteed to be admitted into these programs. Please take a moment to review our impacted programs at Cal Poly Pomona. The Cal State Apply application can be complex, but I encourage you to start early, take your time, and pay close attention to each section. It's up to you to report your academic record thoroughly and accurately. Errors or misreporting on your application can make the difference between being admitted and being denied. Cal State usually offers an application guide, so you'll want to keep this handy when applying. Here are a few tips to help you through the application. Be sure that your birth date and social security number are accurate. If you are applying for financial aid, your FAFSA or free application for federal student aid is tracked based on your social security number. 
If the numbers on your application and on your FAFSA don't match up, we cannot process your financial aid. Have a copy of all of your high school transcripts on hand. You will be reporting all of your high school courses on your application. This includes courses you've already taken, courses you're currently enrolled in, and courses that you plan on taking for the remainder of your senior year. You will want to report these courses and grades accurately. Also, do not omit any courses or coursework. Accurately report all high schools you've attended. And if you've attended any college classes while in high school, such as dual enrollment, report these colleges and courses as well. Consider your major and alternate major very carefully. Either of these majors must be ones you're interested in and prepared to study. Do not assume that you can be admitted to one major and quickly and easily change into another. Especially in the case of impacted majors, changes of majors into these subjects may be just as selective. Finally, be sure to include your work, volunteer, leadership, and extracurricular activities. That includes athletics. During this past year, some students neglected to do so and it cost them their admission. These non-academic criteria are important to the admission process, so be sure to complete these sections as best as you can. So what to do after you apply? Basically, you wait, but here are a few tips to keep in mind after you've applied. Check your email regularly. The university will send all formal and official communication via email. Upon applying, you'll be emailed information on how to claim your Bronco account. This account is your applicant portal where you can see updated admission information and a to-do list of your important action items. Only provide us transcripts if, you've, if we've requested them on your to-do list. Be sure to meet all admission deadlines. Failure to meet deadlines will result in your admission being withdrawn. And finally, if you've been denied admission and feel we've made this decision in error, please submit an admission appeal. Students are allowed up to 15 days to submit an appeal. As we wrap up, please consider these important deadlines and timelines. The fall application period takes place October 1st through November 30th. So start your application early, but don't wait till the last day to submit. Admission decisions will be made beginning in February and extend through the end of March. If you're admitted, the deadline to accept your admission offer will be May 1st. And finally, all final high school transcripts and AP scores, also college transcripts if you've taken any college work, will be due to the university on July 15th. While we've covered a lot of information in a short amount of time, I highly encourage you to reach out to the campus for more information. We're always happy to help. Once again, thank you for your interest in Cal Poly Pomona. We're excited that you're considering us as your future academic home.